So today, we're gonna to be taking a look at one of two new gaming headsets launched by Audio-Technica. This is the Audio-Technica ATH GDL3, the open back version of the headset line that they just released. You can get the closed back version for $100, or you can get the open back version for $129.99. Let's go ahead and take a look at the headset because it's, it's actually pretty beautiful. All right, so in regards to this headset review, as usual, I'm always gonna be looking at the build quality, the sound quality, and the mic quality. Those are the three main criteria I look at to determine whether a headset is worth your hard-earned money or not. Here she is, the ATH GDL3. This thing, first and foremost, I wanna point out that I love the look of this headset. This is a very simplistic headset. There's nothing crazy going on. There's no RGB. There's no fancy design. There's no craziness to it. It is just a simple gaming headset. All right, we do have 45 millimeter drivers that fit over and around your ears as opposed to on them. It is supported with some sort of uh, aluminum slash metallic headband structure here. And then the rest of the headband at the top right here is kind of split into two. You've got the metal right here and a rubber slash plastic style headband, which what I feel inside of it, I believe is also metal in there. We do have a non padded head strap right here at the top. As you can see, this is all rubber and i'm going to tell you right now when i opened this and saw this i was immediately concerned about the comfort about this but actually i'll just tell you now it is it's it's not even a factor this thing is is ridiculously comfortable but we'll get into that in just a little bit we don't have that much of a swivel action here with the headphones at all so i would be very careful about what you do there and of course we do have the audio cables coming in from this partition and coming out and going back into this one right over here. I've seen other headsets do it to where it comes out of the headband or the head strap right here and it goes straight into the driver. I'm not a big fan of that, but let's see how much, like how much give. All right, there's a good little bit of give here. So I'm not really too concerned. I reviewed a few headsets where the give wasn't really all there. And sometimes when you had it extended at its maximum, I felt like you ran a risk of actually loosening that connection, but I don't believe that that is the case here. Outside of that, we do have an all plastic housing for the drivers themselves. We have this cloth like the lure like ear cushioning here for the ear cups and of course on the insides we do have designations left and right just so that you know where exactly where to put the headset otherwise you're going to be hearing things in very very weird directions now as far as the flexibility and the tension on the headset um it is fairly flexible i do feel some good bit of tension here and i probably wouldn't want to go beyond this there's obviously no need for you to ever go beyond this but if for some reason maybe you're playing a tug of war with somebody you've got your hand on this driver someone else has their hand on this driver if you go beyond this you'll probably break this i wouldn't recommend that so i'll be very 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 careful and I'm hoping that because you just spent $130 on a pair of headphones, you're going to be careful with your stuff, right? This thing is, this thing is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And like, uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It is incredibly comfortable. It is incredibly lightweight. You can barely feel it. The, the ear cups and the drivers, right? They sit very nicely in here. My ears are not making contact with the insides of the driver and the ear cups themselves fit around my ear. So nothing is touching my ear. And I, I believe, I don't know, you tell me in the comments below if you've seen enough of my content without any headphones on, you can probably get a good, a good little snapshot of my ear here. I believe I've got some fairly decent sized ears. I mean, we're looking about this much right here. That's, that's enough to please. This is incredibly comfortable, y'all. I cannot stress that enough. Now, as far as the clamping force is concerned, it's, it's perfect. Like, it moves very little when I sway my head, but then again, I don't know anybody playing games really doing this, at least on purpose. You don't feel the tension that some other headsets give you, like where they're just, they're just trying to crush your skull, dude. Like seriously, after, after a couple of hours of playing with some headsets, I actually have like ear pain. Who wants to have ear pain when they're trying to play video games and enjoy themselves? And thankfully the GDL3 doesn't do that. It doesn't give you ear pain. It's like ridiculously comfortable. This is just so comfortable. I am literally blown the fuck away by how comfortable this headset is. Pardon my French. Now, I don't want to sit here in the build for too long because of the sound, yo, we got to talk about the sound. So let's go. Yeah, it's 8.30 at night and I'm drinking coffee. Deal with it. In regards to sound, the GDL3 is an absolute monster of a headset. I can confidently tell you that the GDL3 is the best sounding headset I have ever used, period. I've played games like PUBG. All right, I've played several matches. I'm talking about upwards of additional like three to four hours of PUBG. Initially, I was concerned with how loud the headset could get because it's not the loudest headset I've ever used. It's loud, but it's not the loudest. So I was concerned about how well I'd be able to hear things like footsteps, directional cues, like gunshots and where they're coming from, explosions, cars, etc. 
and I'm going to tell you that the sound stage on this headset is absolutely top shelf, top in class, best hands down, period. You can hear everything. You can hear everything clearly. You can hear everything in a timely manner. I'm able to tell where gunshots are coming from very distinctly, like very, very, very distinctly. And mind you, this is a stereo headset, okay? Very distinctly, I can hear footsteps above me, below me, to my right, to my left. I can hear footsteps in buildings next to me. And it's not just the building like immediately next to me, but buildings like a little ways down. All right. And again, this headset isn't the loudest one I've ever used. It's loud, but it's not the loudest one I've ever used. And you can still hear that stuff. I can hear the cocking of guns. I can hear the reloading of clips. I can hear uh, people aiming and shuffling around like doing PUBG. And you make very distinct sounds when you do that. And you, I can hear that in games like God of War on PC. First of all, this game looks absolutely amazing. It looked great on console. It looks phenomenal on computer. And you can hear like the icing, the frost of the Leviathan Axe, dude. It sounds like so crisp and clear. It's like it's literally freezing in my hand right next to me. It sounds absolutely amazing. The dialogue and the vocals coming in from the spoken words of Kratos and Atreus and all the other characters are absolutely like present. That's the best word I can possibly use right now. It is present. There are nuances and little details in the audio that I had missed while playing God of War on, on PS5 and PS4 with other headsets that I'm just absolutely getting for the first time playing it with this headset. Games like Demon Souls casting spells and just murking the undead in uh, Bulletaria. The spells, they sound frightening. That's how crystal clear and crisp this thing sounds like. It, it actually, I actually had to turn the volume down for the headset because it was just way too clear. Absolutely way too clear. This headset is incredible when it comes to sound. It will hit every gamer out there, no matter what kind of sound experience you're looking for, whether you're looking for great sound stage for competitive games like PUBG or Call of Duty Warzone, Valorant, what have you, this headset will absolutely deliver and then some. If you're a single player experienced gamer and you wanna be able to get everything that a game's audio has to offer for you, you're going to get that with this headset. And you don't need any fancy USB cards or any additional dongles, nothing like that. You simply plug this headset into your sound card or your motherboard and you are good to go. This is my favorite, and I want y'all to make a record of this. This is my favorite, and in my opinion, the absolute best sounding headset I have ever used. It is officially number one. Philips says HP 9500 is now number two. With that being said, which I haven't even done it yet, let's go ahead and check out the mic and see and see how it goes. Because if the mic is great, then we might as well have, we, we might possibly have the perfect headset here. Okay, so this is a test of the Audio-Technica's ATH GDL3's microphone, and uh, this is the first time I use the mic. I have not used it prior to actually filming this review, so I'm not really sure what we're going to get here. After this segment, I'm going to listen back to it, and then I'm going to come right back, and we're actually going to talk about the mic and a couple of other things. I just muted my Wave 3 microphone just to make sure that the microphone wasn't picking up my voice this whole time, because holy crap, this sounds incredible. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm absolutely dumbfounded at how good this microphone sounds. Uh, and I want you to bear in mind, there's no post-processing involved. I'm not going to do it in editing or nothing. I'm not going to add anything to it. I don't have this running through software like Wavelink that does any post-processing. There's nothing. This is raw. This is what the microphone sounds like just being plugged into my motherboard. I wouldn't necessarily tell you to go out there and do a podcast with this microphone. And I wouldn't necessarily tell you to go ahead and do YouTube commentary or anything like that with this. But honestly, I think if you equalize this enough, you might be able to get away with it for a while. If you had no other options, if you had no, you know, no microphone to use like the, the Wave 3 or my uh, MV7X here. Like if you don't have that as an option or not, not specifically those two, but if you don't have a, an external microphone of your own to use with some proper tuning, this microphone actually could, could very well let you get away with it. And that is super surprising because 99.999999% of headset manufacturers end up sacrificing microphone quality, understandably so, in favor of better build and better sound. Because if you think about it, the microphone on a he gaming headset, the, the only real thing you're using it for is to communicate with other players. But I think with the proper technique, you could absolutely get away with it with this microphone. This is absolutely incredible. I'm I'm like legitimately floored at $130 too. And typically when, when I do my mic reviews for headsets, you know, the very next segment is a wrap up and I'll switch over to whatever microphone I'm principally using. I'm not doing that today. F that, we're going to use this microphone. This sounds great. Listen, at the end of the day, this headset is incredibly comfortable. It has amazing build quality. 
All right, it's very, very, very nice fitting on the head, on the dome, on the ears. Clamp force is great. Fit around the ears is great. It doesn't hurt. There's no discomfort at all after hours of playing. Like not one little bit. The sound, dude, the sound is legendary. The sound is on a whole nother level, bro. I'm hearing shit that I've never heard before in games that I have played for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. And the microphone, this sounds great. Now it is a sensitive microphone, so it will pick up sounds like your keyboard or your controllers, especially if you are very, very um, aggressive when you're playing your video games. But I can't think of one thing that I dislike. Actually, yes, I can. I can think of one thing I do dislike about the headset. The volume wheel is a little too small. That is my only complaint about this headset. Other than that, this headset is perfect. It is literally, it's perfect. It's, it's, it hits everything. Great build, great sound, great mic. I have, I would get rid of whatever headset you're using now and get this. If you're shopping for a new headset, get this. Go with this headset. Absolutely go with this headset. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section and tell me, did you get this headset? What do you think about it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, do you have any questions for me? Anything that I may have missed in the reviewing process, please feel free to sound off below. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. You all know the drill. Until next time, be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.